Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Hatfield and McCoy shootout is now in its 14th year and continues to grow with each course. During the first year, six teams participated, and this year it has expanded into 18, making organizers stretch the event from one day to two. The Hatfield and McCoy shootout allows high school basketball teams from West Virginia and Kentucky to face off and showcase their talents on the court. Adding to this year's expansion, a team from Tennessee decided to join in on the action. While organizers are grateful to be able to showcase the talent from all over at the Williamson Fieldhouse, they say it's also educational for the teams. It's just wonderful to bring these teams in. They, they get to come in and hear about all the history. They get to see the Hatfield-McCoy history in the two towns and two states. Uh, able to see the coal house in Williamson, a billion dollar coal field. And, uh, it's amazing. We have, we have teams from three states here this year. Money raised during the Hatfield and McCoy shootout will support the Mingo County 4-H and Youth of Williamson programs. However, organizers add it also supports the community and helps boost the local economy. What a wonderful thing for, you know, not only those athletes coming here, but a wonderful thing for our community. They're staying in our motels, and they're eating at our local restaurants, they're spending money at the gas stations, they're buying souvenirs, and it's, it's just a good thing for southern West Virginia and eastern Kentucky. For a while, most thought the Hatfield and McCoy shootout would reach an end. However, several local volunteers pulled it together and made it bigger and better. We thought it was going to go under, and uh, my brother and Mr. Harless and some of the people said, why don't you try to keep that coming? We'll try to get you some sponsors to pay the teams and, and, and make, make sure it's a first-class event. And we went from that year six teams, and we're up to 18. And, and I know both my brothers, Pierce and Mike, both are smiling down. Pierce Witt, longtime director of the Williamson Parks and Recreation Board, will be honored with the plaque at the Williamson Fieldhouse later in the year. Reporting in Williamson for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.